Hey guys, it's Emma here. So today um, I'm going to be doing a quick uh, little video um, about why I don't drive our boat um, into the locks. Um, but let's go! So probably one of the most commonly asked questions I get a lot um, is why I do the locks and my mom does the driving. Um, and we're not saying uh, in this video uh, that you can't uh, let your kids uh, drive your boat into the lock or anything like that. Uh, this is just on personal preference and what we're doing right now. So driving into a lock um, is obviously not that hard, um, but while once you're in the lock, there are a lot of things that could go wrong very quickly um, if you're not careful. So one example for this um, is when the paddles are up uh, and the water is rushing in, um, the boat can get pushed and pulled very quickly um, towards this thing called a sill. Um, and if your boat gets caught on this, um, it could be a pretty big problem because uh, you could possibly sink um, and you might not be able to get out in time or anything like that uh, so that's one of the biggest factors uh, that is quite hard about a lock just to make sure that you're not too close to a sill so obviously while I'm doing the paddles I always try and make sure I go slowly um, especially in really strong uh, currents um, because those could be a big problem if going too fast um, but while I'm doing that my mom has to make sure that we uh, keep away from the sill um, and just has to keep reversing and going forward and reversing going forward um, just to make sure that we don't get cat caught on it. Um, and another hard thing uh, about trying to drive into a lock um, is especially on the Shropshire, Shropshire Union Canal um, there's a water flow coming towards you um, which can make it quite tricky uh, to get in uh, without bumping your boat. So a few years ago, after we bought the boat, um, we decided to go on a helmsman course. Um, me and my mum uh, both went on the course. Um, I got the junior one um, for my specific age group. Um, and on this course, uh, we learned to drive um, and do locks, which was obviously pretty handy. So about a year ago, um, we met up with Mick uh, from Planet Narrowboats, um, and he does a... Uh, training days um, and tests and taster days um, and he really kindly uh, took me out and taught me how to properly drive um, and obviously still knew, I still I knew how to do the locks um, but the driving I was still a bit iffy on um, so I went through uh, some locks with obviously his supervision um, and it was actually a really fun day. So we have come across um, some pretty difficult locks um, so this is where uh, bowel hauling comes in um, so if my mom doesn't want to drive into a lock um, or the lock is really heavy and I need help with it um, we'll both pull the lock the um, boat in uh, together um, for example this is the Summerton deep lock uh, we did this because obviously the lock was going to be really hard um, and if I needed help it would have been really hard for my mom uh, to help me since she would have been uh, down a 12 foot lock um, so bow hauling is a great way um, and obviously Summerton was really hard but we luckily managed to do it. And the paddles were so stiff um, my mum ended up having to do them for me. So obviously the plan is to do more driving and learn how to uh, drive into a lock. Um, it is just a bit tricky uh, with only the two of us. Um, it's like who's going to do the lock um, while I'm learning to drive. Um, but yeah. So I hope you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video and comment on my social medias, my Patreon and my Gmail, thenarrowbrookgirl at gmail.com if you have any suggestions for me and I also do have a canal post address if you like sending me letters. Um, but yeah, see you later, bye!